When I look back on my life, I think I had some really interesting parts. I was the professor of ceramics and other fine arts. Then I became the administrator. When I was dean at Michigan, I learned a whole lot. And it was almost like a graduate degree for me. I was the director of Pilchuck for 10 years. And then I became me. I never had a hobby. And when I stopped working full time, I said, hobby, I could do something. So I started scuba diving. I've been on every exotic reef in the world, and it is beautiful. In the uh, early 2000s, I came down to Pottery Northwest, and I looked around, and I was just sucked in. So I started taking classes, and I've been taking classes here for close to 20 years, I guess. I'm working on a series of boat shapes that reflect a view that you get when you finish scuba diving and you come up to the surface and you wait to get picked up by the boat that dropped you off. After I get the form finished, then I put surface color on it. I use this material, which is a combination of glaze and color. I have these printed transfers that I got a few years ago from China, and I figure out what the pattern will be. And I just press water through this tissue paper, and it will be the exact same color. It doesn't change color. The series is a series that I'm trying to grapple with. That's why I make more than one because I'm searching for the perfect boat, and I haven't found it yet. My ideal would be to have water droplets all over the place. Pottery Northwest has given me a community. When I'm here, there is a vitality that I identify with because I still think of myself as somewhere between 24, 36, and 43. And I see people of all ages, people come from all parts of the world and connect here in a way that I think is rare, and it suits me. And you're the first person I ever met from Vladivostok. Yes, well. <laughs> Sometimes people know that I have a long background in ceramics, and I know a lot. Some people have no idea, and both are fine with me. What kind of thrills me about ceramics is that I can be really mindful. I like to touch, I like to feel, I like to have working time to think, and clay slows me down. I've always worked on containers. Cups, bowls, and baskets. I mean, I could live in the woods if I had a cup, if I had a bowl, and if I had a basket. I decided to make some pills. This is my pill basket instead of my pill box. And uh, I made happy pills. So if you want to be very happy, you take a whole happy pill, or this one you can break in half. I like things that I can put in my house and that I can live with. I want to remember all of the complexity that my life has had. I love contributing to the philanthropy in Seattle. And a few years ago, I made a service for 16 for the Seattle Art Museum party in the park. And people loved them. And I loved making them. I want there to be a vibrant art community in Seattle. And I feel compelled to show my love, to be a docent at SAM, to be a supporter of a lot of other organizations, to be on the board of Artists Trust. Uh, I cannot help myself. When I'm working, I'm remembering diving. I'm remembering traveling to India. I'm remembering feelings 
I'm really remembering happiness, and it thrills me when things work out beautifully. Thank you.